Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I've actually shown this a bunch of times on stream and in other videos, uh, but I figured I'd make a separate video for it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the source code for a Python module. Um, and so without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so uh, we're going to be, you know, picking a random module name and then trying to find it. Uh, in this case, let's start with the arg parse module. Um, it's one that I use pretty often in CPython or in Python in general and uh, does argument parsing. But sometimes I need to look at the source to figure out how it works. And, uh, you know, normally in code, you'll see, you know, import arg parse, and then you'll deal with arg parse like this. So the, <laughs> we showed ellipsis there, nice. Um, so the first thing, the first way that I wanna show you on how to find Python files and Python source code is if you've imported the model, you can just print out the module. So if we just do arg, arg parse here, uh, you'll see that the module object tells you what file it comes from. So this is one way to do this. Uh, this is actually not the way that I usually do this because it involves, you know, you'd have to start up a, a whole interpreter session and, you know, import the module and then print the module. And so there's a lot of, kind of a lot of steps to this. So I don't usually approach it this way. Uh, what I do is I view the, the the documentation for the module and you can do that by doing python-m pydoc. So what pydoc does is it'll import the module and, you know, scrape all the doc strings and all the functions and classes and stuff and show you the documentation of that module. So if we do python dash m pydoc arg parse, Python, well, Python 3, because I don't actually have Python 2 installed, uh, you'll see that we get the documentation reference and it kind of reads like a man page and it opens up in a pager and you'll see, you can scroll around here and it you know has all of the documentation for that module. Um, now the, uh, the file name of the module is actually listed at the very bottom of this. And I believe it used to be at the top in Python 2. Uh, I don't know why they moved to the bottom. I wish it was still at the top. Uh, but to get to the bottom of the pager, you can do shift G to get to the very bottom. And that will show you the file name. You can then copy that and, you know, open it in your text editor or whatever and poke around at it. So you can see here is the, here's the source code of ooh, rectangular select. Uh, here's the source code of, um, of argparse, for example. Now this doesn't always work. Uh, sometimes you'll get modules that are implemented in C and those ones won't show up in either way. So if we do this and we do, uh, I don't know, underscore collections, for example, uh, the underscore collections module is labeled built in. This means that it's part of the interpreter and is not, uh, you know, not compiled separately. And so finding its source code is actually a little bit tricky. And again, if we do this by PyDoc as well, uh, collections, uh, you'll see that we we really don't get much description here. Uh, it says file built in, which is not super helpful. Uh, now for these ones, I happen to know where they are implemented and I'll kind of show you based on the source code of CPython. So if we go to github.com slash python slash cpython, uh, the cpython source code puts these in kind of two different places. Uh, one of them is in the modules directory and in the modules directory, you'll find either, you know, directories that, oops, what did I just do? Uh, I must have clicked dot dot. Uh, you'll either find directories that have, you know, sub modules inside of them, or you will find in this case, the collections module, the underscore collections module. So this is, this is the source code for the collections module. Um, and you'll look around for how it's implemented in C. Um, and so that's one way to find the source code. Now note that some other C modules are not actually implemented in this way. Um, let me find an example of a module first. Lib download. Sure. So we will find the SQLite module. So if we do Python dash imp pydoc SQLite, uh, SQLite 3, Python 3, uh, you'll see that this one actually does list the uh, shared object file, which this comes from. So you can see there's still this .so file. Um, however, this is a compiled binary. So again, you won't be able to see the source code from this. And so you'll again go to this modules directory in the CPython source to find uh, somewhere in here, the SQLite uh, 3 module. I guess it's compiled all together from this SQLite subdirectory. So that one's a little bit weird. Uh, there is one other place that you can look for modules in Python, uh, in, in CPython itself, and that is in the Python directory. Uh, and I believe there's only one module in here. Actually, there's a couple of modules. So you'll see the AST module lives in here. Uh, there's also the built-in module, which is spelled a little bit weird. I actually don't know why it's spelled strangely like this, uh, but 
<laughs> it's always always a uh, thorn in my side when I'm looking for the built-in module because it's named B-U-Y-L-T-I-N, uh, but for some reason it's Blutin in this case. Uh, there's also some other Python uh, code implemented in the objects directory, uh, but these get you know folded into other models and don't really live here. Uh, but anyway, that's how you can find source code for, for Python stuff. Uh, so two different ways, either print the model or use PyDoc. I prefer to use PyDoc. Oh, I guess we could show the Python 2 version of this. PyDoc arg parse. So in Python 2, the module file will be right at the top. I wish this was the way in Python 3, but alas, they changed it for some reason. I haven't looked up why they changed it. But anyway, hopefully this is helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.